mothers and fathers, husbands and wives, sisters and brothers, friends for life. We won't live in the past. We're making it last. It's time for another conversation. Welcome to Making It Last podcast, where it's all about helping us to have better relationships, not just with ourselves with other people and this time around we have speaker executive coach author carolyn dowd higgins welcome carolyn good morning noreen it's lovely to be with you so you're an author tell us a little bit about your books because that would be a nice segue into what we're going to be talking about sure absolutely well i've written three books actually the first book actually has two different editions and you and I were chuckling before the show I I love the title and it sounds like you do too that book is called this is not the career I ordered and I interviewed hundreds of women around the world who have gone through a career reinvention or Mm -hmm. a transition Mm -hmm. uh, as I did so that Mm -hmm. was the first book and then my most recent book which just came out last year is called your career advantage and it's all about helping people navigate the world of work to make it better and ensure that you're not missing your life while you're working your career. Okay, okay. Which is a nice segue then into what we're going to be talking about, which is drive where you are. Exactly. Some yeah. of your thoughts on that. Yeah, you know, Noreen, so many people, because I work with people in the career space who are searching for meaning and purpose and fulfillment and a job that really helps them play to their strengths, hopefully something that Mm -hmm. that is a career. And a lot of people are frustrated, they're stuck, or they're in the wrong role. But the reality is, it's not always necessary to leave the organization. Sometimes you can reinvent right where you are. And I work with a lot of employers who really appreciate that because they don't want to lose top talent but they're willing to let them modify or be in a different role or perhaps refresh a current role to Mm -hmm. keep talented people. So the message is pretty simple. There are ways to reinvent in your organization now so you can thrive. Okay. Tell us about that because there are a lot of persons who will listen and watch it as like, "Mm -hmm." easy for Uh you to say, you know? Um, So how do you... Yeah. reinvent or even refresh absolutely and i appreciate mm-hmm. the skepticism i really do and and what i would say right off the bat is everybody listening needs to think about how and why they are valuable and the next level is how and why are you indispensable i often say you know mm. when the economy is bad or the recession is hitting and that's not happening now but in those economic times or maybe when a downturn is happening in your company and they're considering layoffs, they keep the people that are most valuable and indispensable. So each of us need to have clarity about what are the strengths that we bring to the table? Mm -hmm. But the formula is really simple. What are the problems your organization has? Mm -hmm. and How can you help solve them? And if you can bring those two things together, then you can think about how do I refresh and solve new problems that the organization has. How then do you strike that balance so you don't end up sounding, for want of a better word, conceited or or thinking that, okay, they can't, they can't, the organization will not go on without me. So how do you strike that balance? I appreciate that question. I really do. And mm-hmm. and here's what I have to say. Nobody likes arrogant, narcissistic, okay. people, right? right? There's no doubt about that. But mm-hmm. what I'm promoting is what I call humble confidence. We all have talents okay. and strengths and we need to own them. Shoulders back, standing tall to say, this is what I do well. And when you come to it from a place of humility to say, mm-hmm. I'm deeply interested in helping solving the problems of this organization, And it's not always a a, a clear problem. Maybe it's to reach our goals or to reach the profitability uh, ratio, right? Mm -hmm. Or the metrics that we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to be crystal clear about what you do and how it is valuable to the organization. And so many people often have a disconnect. Mm -hmm. So you really need to do your research and find out what do they need? What do I do well? And how can I present myself humbly, but confidently as a solution. What about those organizations where they're not as transparent, so to speak, in terms of the problems and believe that it's only some persons in a certain or at a certain level that should, you know, 
solve some of these problems? Yeah, it's a really good question because you're right. Leadership at the mm -hmm. top is mm -hmm. not always transparent mm -hmm. and forthcoming. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're a middle manager and you're worried or maybe you're frustrated and you're stuck and you say, I like my company, but I need to figure out how to revitalize this. Mm -hmm. You need to start looking for champions. And frankly, okay. influencers and decision makers in the organization and it's okay if you don't know them really well. Mm -hmm. Reach out and introduce yourself. My name is Caroline. These are things that I do for the company. May I learn from you? Would you consider a 10 minute conversation? It's internal networking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Find those stakeholders. Start with your boss and be really clear and say, I'm looking for ways to refresh the value that I bring to the organization. Can I work with you to determine what the organization needs that I can solve for. Mm. So you you have this conversation, you make yourself available, but the boss isn't too open. What then? Yeah, find another <laughs> one, right? Because yeah. it's just like any relationship. Okay. Now, no, I don't necessarily mean find another boss at this okay. moment in time. You've okay. got that boss. Mm -hmm. But find another champion, mm -hmm. right? And I'll say this kindly. I've had mm -hmm. some crummy bosses, right? I mean, okay. they're but they weren't great bosses. Mm -hmm. They weren't my advocates because they just weren't generous in spirit. Mm -hmm. So I people. And Noreen, you and I have talked about this before. Find a sponsor, find a mentor, find other people in the organization and don't be a well-kept secret. Be really intentional about helping people understand what you do. Noreen, I have a concept as a career coach that I use all the time. Mm -hmm. And that's the question what are people saying about you when you're not in the room? What's the buzz? I like that. I right? Like that. What, what is it that they're saying about Noreen? Why is she extraordinary when you're not there to defend mm -hmm. your own self-advocate? So we want people to understand our value even when we're not in the room. I'm Caroline Dowd Higgins. I'm a speaker, an author and an executive coach. Quick break from our partners. Hello, my name is Nikki Mason and I want to share with you my journey with Noreen Daly in my communication and coaching sessions. As I went through the sessions with Noreen, I was able to recognize my strengths in communication. Some things I didn't recognize that I would do, she was able to unearth and allow me to recognize that these are some strengths that I had. I did have some weaknesses which I was challenged to overcome through research, um, reviewing other public speakers, and being able to sit before a camera and to speak to an audience, an invisible audience. It was fun. And as a coach, she was patient and she gave good feedback and she was able to give me the insight into communication as to how to best use my skills, my natural communication strengths to be engaging as a speaker. And I would recommend anybody who seeks to become a more competent communicator to enroll in her program, reach out to her, and I believe you're going to enjoy the journey as much as I did. Thanks. Lango Language Institute was created to meet your language and communication needs. All of our packages were created just for you. We are passionate about language and dedicated to your success. We offer the CSEC English program, the Study Body program, the Get Ahead with English program, and the Business Communication program. Contact us at 767 285-0938 or email us at langdolanguage at gmail.com because the real question is how can we help you you can't live your best life without a healthy immune system boost your immune system the delicious way with Zappi's organic juices and punches. Made from local produce with zero added sugar, our juices cleanse and revitalize your body as they boost your natural immunity. Try our delicious flavors. 
Beat It, Berry Bomb, Get Fresh, Turn Up, and Island Splash. Find us on Instagram at Zappies Organics or call or send a WhatsApp message at 1-876-779-8910 to order today. That's 1-876-779-8910. Zappies Organic Juices and Punches. Live your best life today. I'm Caroline Dowd Higgins. Welcome back and let's continue the conversation. Have you experienced some of what you're or what you coach people about? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like I'm my, my best case study. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's really how I've written my books. These have been challenges that I've experienced mm -hmm. throughout my leadership journey. And I know I'm not alone. And many of them are also scenarios that my clients have experienced. Of course, I've anonymized them in the book. All right, right. Privacy. But these are real life issues. And, mm -hmm. and the new book, Your Career Advantage, is very specifically about familiar challenges that we all experience in the world of work. I don't think work should have to be that difficult. I really okay. don't. Express and it is. Express yeah. Especially since that is where you spend the bulk of your time. Exactly. So 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 as 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 we continue the conversation, for somebody, and it's something I should have asked at the beginning. The whole idea of thriving for you, though, means what? Yeah. So playing to your strengths, are you doing something that you love to do? Now, let me let me back up. I get mm -hmm. it. Work is work. We don't mm -hmm. love all of it. Mm -hmm. But at least 50, 60, 70 percent should be something that engages you, something that excites you because you're playing to your strengths. You may be in the wrong role if okay. someone is constantly saying, you need to fix this. You need to improve upon this. This just isn't your best work. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily your fault. You may be a round peg in a square hole. You've yeah. heard that phrase. Mm -hmm. So if you're constantly beating your head against the wall, trying to fix things, chances are you're not in a role that is utilizing your talents and your strengths. So mm -hmm. finding that alignment is incredibly important. There are people sometimes who probably sometimes aren't even aware of what those strengths are. You're right. You're right. And, and even, and even if, cause I, I work in a space cause I'm an educator and I work in a space sometimes that, you know, I have people who, who have to report to me, yep. but sometimes even when you're trying to even highlight them or nudge them in a particular direction, they're not too open to, cause they're probably just not aware what they right. Right. And Noreen, I'll tell you, you know, one of the most important things is to take some self-reflection time and really think about what mm -hmm. do you do well. Mm -hmm. But I will share, some people just don't tap into that brain power. They're not as experienced at self-reflecting. That's mm -hmm. okay. It takes mm -hmm. time. So then take an assessment, right? The Gallup Clifton Strengths, a great example of a very simple and affordable assessment that helps you name what you do well in very clear language. There are many, many assessments. If you don't want to spend the money or you don't want to work with a coach, fine. Then ask five people that you trust, yes. seeing you work, mm -hmm. what do you believe that I do well? Get some input from other people. Sometimes we get so stuck in our own heads, we don't value or recognize what we do well. That's true. You, you, you definitely have to be open to because I remember years ago, I, I was nudged in terms of teaching a practical course, which at the time I didn't think that I could, but obviously my boss at the time thought I had so many opportunities have come out of, out of that. And no. I love that, right? Because they're, they saw those gifts in you, whoever the, those individuals were. And mm -hmm. I think there's something wonderful about trusting uh, what other people see in us. Yeah. Yeah. How in a in a in an environment sometimes where you, you mentioned a whole idea of trust where that can be such a it, it's it, tough. It's tough. It's hard sometimes for people to trust because a lot of persons say, you know, I come to work, that's it, I do what I need to do, and that's it. So the whole idea of trust is somewhat foreign, even yeah. with the best of intentions. And it without trust, they won't then be open. I agree. To some, of, to some agree. of what you're saying. Yeah. So let me share a little bit about trust. Uh, trust isn't automatic, 
right? In our personal relationships and our professional relationships, it needs to be earned. And I use that verb very intentionally. And it's a two way street. It's not just one way. And it could take months. It could take years. And that's okay. I would prefer to have a few people with whom I have deep trust than trying to be in that trust relationship with everybody because that's unrealistic. And I'll be really candid. Mm -hmm. There are some people that I don't trust and that's okay, right? But I'm not looking at them as mentors and, mm -hmm. and people that I rely on. They're in a different category. They're, they're good people. We have a fine relationship, but it's not a deep trusting relationship. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But I do know who my people are that I can trust. Good, 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 good. You, you, you said a lot, but if you had to pick, say, your top three ways of just thriving where you are, what yeah. would those top three ways yeah. be your methods? So you, you heard me say, play to your strengths. And, mm -hmm. and the, the data tells us when we're playing to our strengths, we are much more likely to be satisfied in our careers. Yep. The second is values alignment. Is this organization, is this company aligned with my values? Now, it might not be all of your values, mm -hmm. but it should be the majority of your values. Otherwise, there's going to be a tremendous disconnect. Mm -hmm. and, and the third thing may be surprising to your listeners, but do not give up your life for your career. Enjoy say, say, say that again. Say that again. Do not give up your life for your career. And Noreen, I've actually trademarked the phrase, enjoy your career, love your life. Because life is short. And, and of course, many of us, myself included, are very proud of what I do career-wise. But you can't get the five minutes that just happened back. Once it's done, it's done. So don't lose sight of your life. Live a joyful life. And don't let your career bring you down in your life. So those are my three tips. What are you doing to follow your own advice? For, yeah. for that last one, as you do. Absolutely. Enjoy, what, what are you doing? What do so, you do? So, Noreen, it's really important to me to incorporate play okay. into my everyday. Okay. And maybe some days are busy and frantic, and that play might be getting on the ground and rolling around with the dogs, right? Mm -hmm. And playing with the pups. Mm -hmm. Or it might be reading something for fun that's not a work book or an article or listening to a podcast like right, yours right. because it's, it's something mm -hmm. that I do for fun. Mm -hmm. And then when I carve out more intentional time, it might be going out uh, with my husband or going to the theater or going okay. to do something. But my goodness, we get so busy and yep. you know the weight of that word that we often miss our lives you know, the holidays are coming up and we all are saying, how is it November, right? It all happens so fast. Yep. We need to be mindful about how we spend our time because it's our most precious commodity. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Excellent note to end on, Carolyn. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Noreen. What a joy to be with you. This was Making It Last podcast where it's all about helping us to have better relationships, not just with ourselves, with other people. I'm Nuri Daly. Until next time. Fathers and fathers, husbands and wives, sisters and brothers, friends for life. We won't live in the past. We're making it.